there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in beautiful Kinsale, Ireland. My buddy Jeff and I just had this amazing fish pie. Oh my God. And this place called Fishy Fish, in case you wondered what they had. And we had some oysters too, and oh my God, the food was fantastic. And it kind of got me thinking, what's the kind of food you're gonna eat when you come here to Ireland? Because there actually is some really good food here. I know, the reputation in my videos from 10 years ago said Irish food, meh. Dude, it's totally not that case anymore. The food here is actually very good. They really went for the foodie revolution here. You have a lot of really good restaurants, a lot of really good food, and even some of those traditional Irish dishes have made a comeback and they're really, really tasty. So what this video is gonna cover is the things you should eat when you come here, and we're gonna focus on Irish food. Now there's lots of international cuisine you can have here in Ireland, but you didn't come to Ireland to have Italian food or Indian food or stuff like that. You came here to eat Irish food, okay? So let's get started. Now, we can start, start with the, probably one of the more traditional traditional things you'll see in a lot of menus, it's Irish stew, which is basically you have, you know, usually it's lamb or sometimes beef chopped up and then it's got like carrots and onions and stuff in there. And uh, then there'll be like some mashed potatoes, they'll pour it on top of that. Like they'll pour the stew on top of the mashed potatoes. And that's a really good hearty meal you'll see in a lot of the pubs and restaurants. So that's cool. On the other side of it, if you want to kind of it flipped over where the mashed potatoes are on the bottom, um, sorry the mashed potatoes are on the top instead of the bottom you have shepherd's pie which is minced meat or ground beef and kind of a sauce and then it's baked with mashed potatoes on top of it that's kind of a popular thing um, when you look at the meats here though you'll see a lot of beef especially in the pubs a lot of beef burgers and stuff like that but the really the meat you want to have when you are here is lamb lamb shank or lamb cutlets or whatever you want the lamb is really good here in ireland so you definitely want to be having some of that but for me, actually the best meat kind of thing that's out there is actually the fish. When you come here, the salmon is amazing, okay? And you can get smoked salmon on bread, a very popular thing here. Oh, and the soda bread they have here is just awesome. It's a different, it's made a different way than the other bread. There was some bicarbonate in it, but it's so good. Um, but the fish is fantastic and you can go to places there's a place right over here called dino's it's a fish and chip shop you can go there and get your fish and chips and go and man you will just love it when you are here and the thing is there's a lot of different fish you can have when you are here yes salmon like i said before is the biggest one out there but there's a lot of cod you can have monkfish all kinds of stuff but also the shellfish here is really good we've had you know we've had crab when we've been here we've had fish stews all kinds of stuff with shellfish in it and you really do really well so one of the starters i tell people to have when they come here is have the seafood chowder when you are here because no matter where we've gone in ireland the seafood chowder has been phenomenal so that's nice because it's not like cheap crappy fish they throw in there it's got salmon it's got other stuff and then you're like, man, see, I'm drooling trying to explain it. And it is really good. Another nice starter is if you get oysters. Man, the oysters here, we had some today. It was just phenomenal when you are here. And that's the thing is they're super fresh here. So it's a good place if you want to try oysters and you're worried your tummy's not going to like them. This is a place you don't have to worry is, are these oysters old or not? Because they'll be fresh as fresh can be, especially in a place like Kinsale. You're going to be totally, totally okay with it. Now, I wouldn't be talking about Ireland and Irish food without talking about the lovely potato. And of course, you have your chips, your French fries, your chips. You will have those with your fish and chips and stuff like that. But they do put them with a lot of other dishes out there in terms of your chips. But the thing is, there's other things you might have. You know, you'll see a lot of mashed potatoes and stuff like that. And also, there's actually potato pancakes or potato bread, depending on how you want to say it. I think they look like potato pancakes it's called box tea you can get. It's like grated potatoes fried, and that's actually pretty good for something to have. And then there's the thing, I think it's called Kulkana, I don't know. I never asked them how to set it, I just pointed and said I want that, which is like mashed potatoes and then like cabbage mixed together, which is really kind of cool, and you'll have that with ham. And for my American friends, when you have your corned beef and cabbage and with the potatoes and stuff like that, that ham and kolkanen together kind of reminds you of it when you do have it when you are here now in terms of drinks when you are here ireland is a tea and beer country they drink more tea per capita i think than anywhere else in the world so you will have tea with breakfast just ask you'll be fine i've talked to the people that do drink coffee they like the coffee here too but it's a tea place when you do come here um, but the beer is the thing you really have to have and you do have the stouts those dark beers yes guinness guinness is from here and you will love it murphy's is from here and the thing is when you drink Guinness or you drink Murphy's, one of these stouts here in Ireland, the taste is completely different than wherever you had it somewhere else before. It's so much fresher and so much better. Oh, you've got to have it. But it's not just the stouts. There's red beers like the Smithics that are out there that you can have. And the thing is, there's even smaller breweries all around the country that you can get a local beer at. So whenever you go to the pub, ask, hey, what's the local beer? And try that out because 
Ireland, they do great beers here, and of course they do great whiskeys. There's actually whiskey tours you can take to try out different kinds of whiskeys around the countries and the different counties around here, which is really nice. And I guess another thing I'd say is you'll see a lot of places like the Smithick Experience, the Guinness Experience, the Jameson Experience, where you can go, see, they're like, oh, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. You can go and learn about those drinks and you can do like a tour and have a tasting and that's really kind of a cool thing to do and you know they always have a shop at the end but if you're looking to waste like an hour to three hours something like that you can do these tours and it's kind of a fun thing it's an educational thing but sometimes after a while they kind of get repetitive but it is still something you can do when you are here now another drink people kind of worry about when they travel is the water and some people say hey can i drink the water in ireland yes you can drink the water in ireland it's totally fine when you go to the restaurants they might they'll bring you water lots of the times and if they don't just ask Ask for it it's free just get the tap water you're okay what actually we've been doing is we got a bottle of water we just been filling it from the tap in the hotel and we're fine and take that around instead of spending money when we go around um, I guess what else I could talk about oh the sweets that are out here you'll see a lot of um, I guess milk based sweets like caramels and stuff like that here um, cream caramels they actually are really good whether they're covered in chocolate or not you will like that it's also a very easy gift to take home to people so that's kind of a cool thing um, in terms of cakes and desserts I guess Guinness cake would probably be the most popular one for a tourist to try. It's basically just a, a, a chocolate, a really thick, dense chocolate cake, which is actually pretty good. So you have that. And you'll see is around here, a lot of the desserts and stuff aren't like a traditional dessert. It's desserts from all over. You'll have a mousse here and a, a pie there and a, a cake here and things like that. So it is okay. Um, but in general, you will enjoy the food here. In terms of the service in the restaurants, the service is fine. The people are very friendly. I find in the pubs, they're, they're more jokey and the restaurants are more serious. Um, don't expect like service to be super fast anywhere you do go. It'll be fine, but just don't expect to be quick. So if you want your bill, make sure you ask for it. Um, and when you do go to a restaurant, um, usually they'll, they'll either put a service charge on there or they will add a service charge or they'll say the price is included with service or something on there. You can also tip on top of that if you want. You don't have to, um, but that is one of the things. You don't tip at the pub. I mean, you can, but you don't really do that either. But if you want to, it's no big deal. Um, and I guess I'll start off with breakfast because, you know, you're here, you're going to be staying at the hotel, you want to have something. There's two ways, I, there's two things I kind of say for people when they come here for breakfast. One, go the full Irish, get a full Irish breakfast. Oh, it is so good. You have eggs, you have the sausage, and these are huge sausage or two maybe. You get bacon, you get a uh, hash brown, but they call it like a potato farls. Um, you get fried mushrooms, fried potatoes, baked beans. Uh, usually there's some toast there as well. I mean, it is just phenomenal. And of course, then there's black pudding and white pudding to go along with it. The special kind of, you know, blood made sausage and stuff like that. I mean, it is just so good. The other side of it, if you don't want that big, huge breakfast, a nice filling breakfast, it's not as heavy in the calories, let's say, is Irish oatmeal. I'm not kidding. I know people are like oatmeal. Why would I want to have oatmeal or porridge or something like that? Look, the oatmeal here in Ireland is phenomenal. So definitely have some of that for breakfast. You won't be upset by it. And if you look at times to eat, breakfast times, you know, seven to about 10, lunch times, you know, 11 to one, and dinner times a little earlier, like, I don't know, we saw people, you know, from five to seven, eight o'clock was kind of a popular thing, and the restaurants were kind of slowing down on Friday night about eight, 8.39, um, just to give you a heads up on that. Um, one thing I would say, excuse me, if you're going to be going to a more of a popular destination on the weekends, it might be a good idea to make reservations for the better better restaurants uh, because they do get booked out and stuff like that because the people here want to enjoy the good food too, so you will have that. Anyway, I hope that helped you know a little bit more about what you should eat and things you should know about eating here in Ireland. It's not what it used to be. The food here is really good. I've been very happy. We've been eating like, well, the pigs that we are. <laughs> but enjoying it every single bite. So have a great time here in Ireland. If you want to learn more, the don'ts of visiting Ireland, what you, the sh things that might shock you as a tourist when you come here, we have all that on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you click that subscribe button, we put out two new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so you'd have that coming in your feed right there. Anyway, I'll say bye from Kinsale, and I'm gonna go lie down and take a nap because I'm digesting that fish pie because it was so good, and the oysters. Oh my God. And the beer. Oh, <laughs> so good. And the dessert. Yes, now I'm starting to understand why I look like this. Anyway, have a great time. We'll see you later. Bye from Kinsale, Ireland.